Hi everybody, in this video I am going to discuss the first video in DFA and NFA. This is the Automata Theory Series Part 4. In DFA, each input leads to exactly one state. Therefore, it is known as deterministic. Each input leads to one state. Here, uh, any input leads to subset of states, hence it is non-deterministic. So, any input leads to subset of states. Hence, it is non-deterministic. Second one, DFA require more space. But NFA require less space than DFA. Empty string transition are not seen in DFA. In DFA, empty string transition is not possible. It permits empty string transitions. Mapping function of DFA is Q into uh, summation to Q. In every state produce, there is only one and only one output state. But in case of NFA, mapping function is Q arrow summation to the Q subset. This is known as power set. DFA is more difficult to construct. NFA is easier to construct. DFA can be understood as single machine. That is only one machine. But NFA can be considered as multiple little computing at the same time. It consists of multiple little computing. Backtracking is allowed in DFA. But NFA, every time backtracking is not always possible. And uh, this is the diagram. Suppose there are two states, Q0 and Q1. For every state, there is A or B. Suppose A and B are inputs. So, from Q0 to A and Q0 to B. From Q1 to A and Q1 to B. So, this is uh, DFA. And if we write the table, then we will get Q0 and Q1, A and B. Q0 to A, this is Q1. Uh, Q0 to B, this is Q0. Q1 to A, Q1. Q1 to B, Q0. So, every output consist of single outputs. So, this is known as DFA, I mean deterministic. But here uh, Q0 and Q1, this is A and B. From Q0 to there is Q1 and from Q0 to B, this empty. So, empty transition is possible in NFA. From Q1, here Q1 to A, empty. From Q1 to B, uh, Q1. And Q1 is the final set. In case of this diagram, it is also a final set. So, thank you very much for watching.